Ah, look around you. See how the people brighten the streets with their very presence. It is good to have this place inhabited once again. Your actions have caused beneficial reactions. Those you saved found others on their way to the city. And the mages have opened stable portals to Nern, bringing aid to Cold Harbor. The city thrives thanks to you. King Dinah and Varnus have begun to rally the troops. They have called for a council to meet here in the Hollow City. There are decisions to be made, plans to draw up. The time for war fast approaches, and we need to be ready. If anyone who can help us remains in Cold Harbor, I am not aware of their presence. If you still wish to explore, however, you are free to do so. You shall find the Aeliad King and the Mage inside the Cathedral. They await your arrival. Once you enter the Cathedral, the preparations for the final assault to save Nern will begin. Welcome, friend. We need to discuss the preparations for the coming assault, but I wanted to wait until you arrived. Do you have any questions before we begin? We need to end the plane meld before Nern is destroyed. To do that, we must deal with the planar vortex. To reach the vortex, we need to cross the chasm and get through whatever defenses the Dark Lord throws at us. I fear battle is inevitable. Well said, friend. Uh, please, hold your questions until everyone who wants to has had an opportunity to speak. After that, we can debate the details as you see fit. Attention, please. I have called you all here because the moment of destiny fast approaches. The great shackle has been destroyed but not before a planar vortex was established. We must destroy this vortex before it sucks the very essences of Nern into Cold Harb. The Fighters Guild shall deal with the Chasm's defenders, but blades have little power against magic. And that's where my mages come in. Our scouts report that some kind of magical fixtures block access to the path across the chasm. Mages there already work on a way to overcome these fixtures, and we are prepared to lend our strength when the main force arrives. A sound plan plays to our unique strengths. But this one wonders, what if the mages can't overcome Molag Barl's magic? What a ridiculous question! Of course my mages can overcome this magic. Ah, magic, the solution to all life's problems. I love magic. It's so magical. I have absolute confidence in Vanus and his mages. Thank you, your lordship. But to be honest with you, I'm not feeling as confident as Vanus about this. We shall fight with all our strength. There is no other option. Lives will be lost. But hopefully, a world will be saved. Know that the chasm is only the first stage of this battle. The planar vortex abides within the very heart of Molag Baal's lair. Oh, this just gets better and better. Darian, mind your tongue. Darian only seeks to lighten a tense situation. Still, we have to try. To do nothing 
is to doom Tamriel to certain destruction. Well, when you put it that way, there are a lot of lovely ladies that need to be saved. Yes, well, be that as it may, we launch our assault on the chasm immediately. The king needs to talk to the champion, and I must discuss some final details with the mages. The rest of you have your own preparations to see to, I'm sure. It is settled. We shall cross the chasm and make our way to the Planar Vortex at the heart of Molag Baal's realm. Now that you know the plan, I have a special request to make of you. This mission needs a leader. I want you to lead the assault across the chasm. We have asked so much of you, and you have already accomplished the impossible. But you are one of a very small few that I would trust with this task. I knew we could count on you. You have never disappointed me. But there is so much left to do if we are going to win this war. Still, with you leading the charge, we have an excellent chance to end the plane meld and save our world. With the combined forces of the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, we must take the battle to Molog Baal and reach the portal to the Planar Vortex. It all starts at the chasm. Scouts are already in place, gathering information ahead of your arrival. It is a narrow, well-defended span of rock, swarming with Daedra and dominated by a gatehouse that blocks the way into Molog Baal's personal domain. Cadwell knows the region. He's a strange fellow, but I trust him. He's waiting for you at the chasm. This has my knickers in a twist. We have a perfectly fine army, but what good is it? Sitting around this side of the chasm, twiddling its collective thumbs. It's rather embarrassing, if truth be told. The situation? We're well and truly flummoxed. Before we could cross the chasm, before we could confront Molon Gunda, we were stopped by a few irksome focus stones. The wee ginger mage says we need to break the stones, but good luck with that. Nothing other than the multitude of Dremora sitting on top of them. I could handle this myself, but I didn't want to make the rest of the troops sad by showing off my awesome battle skills. But you, on the other hand, they're, they're used to that from you.
strange knight says the oddest things. But Vanus and the king seem to trust him, so what can you do? You must be the champion that King Dionar said would lead us across the chasm. The chasm presents a formidable gauntlet of defenders and fortified installations. The first major obstacle is the portal that provides access to the chasm's upper tier. We have no chance of controlling that portal while the focus stones are active. We spotted Dramora down below. <sighs> Nasty creatures. From the sophistication of the portals they're using, I expect they can also throw Zivoli, Orgrims, and even Scamps at us. A pack of Scamps can take down a lone warrior surprisingly quickly. We take control of the portal to the upper tier and push forward. We haven't been able to scout the higher region, but Cadwell claims that Molag Bal's daughter, Molag Grunda, commands the gatehouse. According to the legends, yes. She's a winged twilight. Strong, disgusting, and in charge of a small army. This won't be easy. Darian says he's gonna charm the wings right off her. But I'm not sure I like what he's insinuating. Of course, but please hurry. We're already taking losses and the bulk of the army hasn't even arrived yet. And I'm having a hard time keeping Cadwell and Darian from rushing into battle all by themselves. My dear master and friend was freed from Uldor, though the process wasn't easy. Undoing Uldor's bindings took time, but I learned much along the way. And thankfully, Rorelian was restored. Darian has rushed on ahead as usual. I shall proceed with caution and see if I can keep him focused on the task at hand. Sinfei thinks she can beat a Nord in a contest? Especially a killing contest? Ha! By the time we're through, I'll have more Dramora hearts than I can carry. The Gord and I have a wager in play. Just to make things more interesting, Whoever collects the most Dramora hearts, wins. You did it! The portal is ours now! Darian Gautier and Walksanash have already led troops through to the other side. Darian was impatient. As soon as you broke the seals, he took some troops and went through the portal. Walksanash went along to keep him out of too much trouble. I'll use illusions to scout ahead and see what's waiting for us at the gatehouse. Good show! The portal belongs to us now! So Darian and that lovely lizard have gone on ahead. I think he might be a bit intimidated by our prowess on the field of battle, and he's trying to compensate. Brinda's a cheeky one, and she knows we're getting close. She's summoning reinforcements faster than Darian can kill them. You'd best get to it. By all means, do you want to know how many Daedra can dance on the head of a pin? How I managed to say so cheerful, even in the most perilous of circumstances? What's my favorite color? <laughs> Ask away. Mola Grunda, a large woman with wings, a bit of a temper, guards the gatehouse. I hear that she's the daughter of Mola Ball, if you can believe that. He never struck me as a family man, but who am I to judge? It's my home, old chum, has been for years. I know every wondrous nook and cranny. Beautiful place, full of fascinating creatures. Of course, they often try to kill you, but that's the challenge of it, isn't it? Denthys! Dethys! 
You two guard the portal. To anyone coming, I'll scout on ahead. We need to know what we're going to face at that gatehouse. Watch and learn, my friend. Watch and learn. Let me show you how to close a Daedric portal. One Daedric portal closed, as promised. Now that's how to do it with style. Creatures do not frighten me. Let us close this portal. The portal is closed. We make a most effective team, my friend. think that little wood elf was planning to face Molar Grunda all by herself before Cadwell ran up there. You better catch up with them. I'll make sure nothing follows you. I got the barrier down. Molar Grunda has to know we're coming. The chasm is nearly ours. I'm going to see who needs help back by the portals. Cadwell is up at the gatehouse. The two of you can deal with Molar Grunda. I think our friends have the chasm well in hand. What say we pop in for a chat with Molar Grunda? 
Right, we control the rest of the chasm now, and the troops have matters well in hand. Let's go and have a sit down with Molog Grunda. She's always good for a laugh and a song. From Grunda? Rudeness, hostility, sarcasm, and uh, most certainly a large amount of open hostility. I've no idea how she keeps house, but I imagine we'll find the usual Daedric touches that make Cold Harbor feel so warm and inviting. I can't wait to see Molar Grunda's face when she sees us. She and I go way back, you know. Once we get inside, we cross one little bridge to reach the gatehouse. Follow me! There's a trick to getting into the gatehouse proper, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. Not to worry, though. I'm sure it will come back to me. Ah, oh, of course. I remember now. There's a flywheel in each of the side antechambers. We need to start them spinning to open the main door. Ah, it's all coming back to me. There's a lever across the chamber. Just give it a good time, and that flywheel will be spinning in no time. I've always loved this part of the chasm. It's so majestic. It takes your breath away, doesn't it? On occasion, quite permanently. Craftsmanship. Remarkable. Grindel always had good taste, I have to say. See? I knew that would work. A word of advice. Guard your pluckables. Grindel enjoys plucking out eyes, spleens, anything pluckable, really. Shall we go and have a proper visit? I'm sure Grindel's prepared something lovely, just for the occasion. Mortal fools! I'll feast on your flesh after my little pet rips it from your bones! You killed my dog! Shall we go and have a proper visit? I'll tear out your hearts and serve them to my father on a silver platter! Oh, that was disappointing. Hardly worked up a sweat. Well done! With Molag Grunda defeated, the entirety of the chasm is now under our control! Gathwin is rounding up the troops. I asked her to keep an eye on Darien as well. He's a terror with the sword, but sometimes I think he takes too many chances. Meet me outside. We have things to discuss, and I find these Daedric halls extremely distasteful.
While you were lollygagging, we secured the area. You did well, my friend. Thanks to your efforts, we control the chasm and can freely move troops between the Hollow City and the front lines. Take a moment to collect your thoughts, then come see me again. This gauntlet we must run is far from over. As soon as you're ready, we have another mission that could use your unique approach. Vampires. The region beyond is crawling with them. Worse, anyone we send in there is turned into one of the foul monsters. And do you see the structure that looms on the horizon? I believe that's one of Molag Ball's infamous harvest hearts. Eager and confident. I like that. I need you to collect blood from the vampires. It's an integral component in the pacification ritual I will perform. Use the blood to mark their lairs. I'll meet you near the heart when you're finished. What are you still doing here? The vampires won't bleed themselves, you know. I have my preparations to deal with, and you have yours. The first step is to make sure the ritual targets the correct creatures. Marking the vampires' lairs with their own blood will guarantee this. In the most expedient manner possible, the ritual unleashes a magic that tracks down the blood and targets the creatures connected to it. Then the vampires will become mindless beasts, no longer capable of posing any threat. I've been developing this ritual for years, but I've never had the chance to test it until now. If this works, it could be a major breakthrough against vampirism. Just another of Molog Ball's clever witticisms, I suppose. It's an orchard from which he plucks the fruit of his vampiric creations. Or something poetic and disturbing like that. But we have a ritual to prepare for. I've read accounts of these foul artifacts. Molog Ball uses them to enslave large communities and to empower specific parts of his divine portfolio. In this case, I believe the heart is greatly increasing the rate at which the vampirism spreads. Not easily. But that's where my ritual comes in. By the time I finish casting it, the heart will be no more, and the vampires will no longer pose a threat to our forces. Eagles triumph! Come across the chasm, with most fragrant companions by his side. This one grieves for the friends we lost today, however, and for the losses yet to come. Ow. Damned blood fiend took a piece out of my arm. I got separated from my troop, and a group of blood fiends chased me. I hid in the entrance to a tomb, just to the west of here. If not for my injuries, I would have explored the place. I'm sure there's some fabulous treasures buried inside. My cousin, Natira, she knows all about tombs and ancient ruins and things like that. She spotted the name on the tomb before we got separated. Said it was an old dark elf name, Malsora's Tomb. Treasure and dark elf magic. I'd stake my name on it. Bal is the enemy here, not my children. Do not do 
Please, I implore you, my children are not evil.
never escape. I can't bear to watch someone die again. Oh, Stibbons, that poor, poor man. This manner, it's not what it seems, and now poor Stibbons has been caught in its embrace. Without help, he will surely die, just like the others. It will be dangerous, but perhaps you can go inside and convince him to leave before it's too late. Fancy meeting you here, my friend. It's good to see you again. Hardly. I haven't received this much adoration... Well, ever. The sisters are even going to throw a celebration in my honor. Doesn't that sound exciting? I'll be at the banquet tables with Rayaima. Introduce yourself to Nuzara and Sheafer, then join me. Make yourself comfortable, stranger. Everything the manner of revelry has to offer is yours for the taking. When you stepped through our gates, you left behind the harsh confines of a cold harbor. Now you are our welcome guest. Enjoy yourself. Later, join us for the celebration in the manor house. For now, eat some food, relax in the baths, unwind. You look so tense. You need to relax. Please, enjoy our hospitality and let all your worries slip away. Why concern yourself with the whys and hows of this realm? This place is safe. We'll care for all your wants and needs. What else is there to tell you? But you look so thin. You need to eat something. Go, find the banquet tables. Have some food.
Be careful. Your eyes will play tricks on you in this place, and you'll need to pay attention to save Stibbins. I was in Meridia's city the day she plunged it into Cold Harbor. Like many, I was lost and alone in the wilderness. Then I found this manor. When the sisters discovered that I was a servant of Meridia, they decided to torment me for eternity. The sisters find it amusing to watch me fret over their meals, but Stibbons has a good heart. He doesn't deserve the fate they have planned for him. The sisters hope to turn me to their side eventually, but they never will. My faith is too strong. You need to keep your wits about you. Stibbons has already accepted the illusion and slipped beyond reason. Pay attention and you may save him yet. Got the secret. They should really make the mugs bigger. You must be starving. Try everything, it's all so delicious. I promise, you've never tasted anything like the food we prepare here. My chefs change the menu daily, but I assure you the cuisine is to die for. They always serve meringue tart, so you really must try it. It's my favorite. Oh, my sisters and I took to Stibbins as soon as he arrived. He's such a dear. We could just eat him up. He does have some issues, though. I think he craves a woman's approval. Rayama always sets out a wonderful spread. The food is excellent. Even better than my cooking, I must admit. Well, I started to make my way toward the Hollow City, just as we discussed. And then... Uh, and then I wound up here. The rest is all just blank, I'm afraid. I'm not really sure. I must have wandered here after I was separated from my dear Lady Laurent. But I really don't remember. That said, the sisters have been very good to me. They're attentive, and they listen. And they seem to care about what I say. Do you think me beautiful? You know what's best after such a fine meal? A nice soak. The water in our pools is just exquisite. I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Our food is the finest in the realm. Perhaps you've brought some sickness with you from outside. You should cleanse yourself in our pools. They're very therapeutic. Hey, grab a drink. There is something different about you. I knew it. You saw through the illusion, didn't you? Nuzera, Raema, and Sheafa rule here through the use of deception and illusion. You saw through the illusion, at least briefly. You're different from Stibbins. You can save him. My dear Sheafer, you've grown lovelier in my absence. The manor is everything you hoped for, isn't it? But look at you. You could really use a bath. That's an excellent idea. And you're welcome to join him. In fact, I insist. Before you enter the pool, though, I suggest you wash in the basin. It has the purest water warmed by the underground springs. Oh, we've become very close in the time he's been with us. He's such a fascinating man. I hope we can get to know each other, too. I do so enjoy making new friends and meeting new people. Go on and start without me. 
I must catch up with this beautiful woman. We have so much to discuss. I I'll meet you at the manor house after you've had a good soak. I don't know about you, but I just about ate until I burst. It was so delicious. Sheafer is trying to deceive you. If you listen to me and do exactly what I tell you, I'll help you see through their illusions. Take these cleansing reagents and go to the pools. Place the reagents in the basin. They will break through the illusion and let you see the manner as it truly is. Once this occurs, you will be in mortal danger. The sisters prefer their meals happy and deceived. Now who's got a drink for me? You? Did it work? Yes, I can see it in your eyes. Now you can see things as they really are. Stibbons went up to the manor hand in hand with Sheafer. I tried to warn him, but he ignored me. You've got to save him. You can see through the illusion now. This is how I actually appear. For all their power, the sisters couldn't truly harm me as long as I served Meridia. I was in Meridia's city the day she plunged. The sisters find it amusing to watch. did to me. Sheafa has the key. She took it downstairs. Please, get that key. It was all a trap. Who does things like that? I took off my clothes to get ready for the celebration, and the sisters attacked me. They threw me in this cage and walked off with the key. And I'm naked. Thank you. Now just give me a moment to deal with my nakedness situation. Stibbons! Thank the Radiant Mother you're all right. When I saw Aima with your jewels, I feared the worst. All right? How can you say that? 
They have my dear Lady Laurent's jewels. She will be quite distraught if I don't retrieve them. At least you're alive. That's something. I know a secret tunnel by the pools. I can lead you there while our friend fetches your lady's jewelry. What do you think? Thanks for the help, friend. They stole my clothes, my lady's jewels, and, and my dignity. But at least we can recover Lady Laurent's jewels. Will you help me? I've been trying to become more of a help to Lady Laurent, so I've been taking dueling lessons. I think I can keep us safe until you return. Find my lady's missing jewels and meet us at the secret tunnel near the pools. My dueling lessons have finally paid off. We made it down here with almost no trouble. Well, Fatahala helped a little. Did you find Lady Laurent's jewels? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. The secret exit that Fatahala showed me is behind this rock. Give me a second to equip a weapon and we can head out. These Daedra tried to keep me from my dear Lady Laurent. It's time to make them pay. Stibbons really wants to be a hero. Please help him so he doesn't get himself killed.
I never thought that nightmare was going to end. Thank you for helping us. Why do these things keep happening to me, I wonder? I think so, thanks to you. I need to find Lady Laurent and make sure she's all right. She can get so flustered without me. I'll lead Fatahala to the Hollow City. Those dueling lessons were certainly worth the gold. Temptress, I'll hear no more of your lies! Such a stubborn elf. Perhaps your companion will be more willing to listen to reason. I hope that you'll prove to be more reasonable than your companion. My offer makes perfect sense, considering the alternatives. The ritual the elf plans to perform will drive my children mad. But there's a better solution if you're willing to listen to reason. Molag Ball is the real enemy here. Let me help you free my children from the Dark Lord's thrall. Then we both win. Some call me the Crimson Major, others the concubine of Cold Harbor. I am an elder vampire brought to this new life by Molag Ball. These are my children, but they have been enthralled by the Lord of Brutality. My children protect this orchard because Morlock Ball commands it. They aren't evil. They're slaves of the Harvest Heart. Instead of destroying them, help me set them free. Imagine an army of vampires that owes you a favor. I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this, and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Morlock Ball. Of course. Take all the time you need. It's not like you're trying to save the world from Molag Ball or anything like that. Oh wait, that's exactly what you're trying to do. I shall await your decision with bated breath. You can't seriously be considering her proposal, can you? She's a confounded vampire for Magnus's sake! She's an elder vampire! Setting those monsters free will be like ringing the dinner bell in a Nord feast hall before the meal is ready. Her so-called children see us as food and nothing more. The only logical solution is to perform my ritual. Really? You need to consult with a monster before you agree to help the great and powerful Vanus Galerion. Oh, very well. Do what you must. I'll wait here until you reach a decision. Have you considered my proposal? I can perform my own. A most wise and honorable decision. I'll follow you to the ritual sites. Protect me while I perform the ritual, and we will break Molag Bar's hold on my children. D. 
defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual. of the ritual is complete. Perform this portion of the ritual. Thank you for assisting. This portion of the ritual is complete. Will destroy the harvest heart. My children yearn to be free. The black blood flowing from the harvest heart binds my children to Molag Bal, but it also gives us a connection we can take advantage of. While I provide the power to destroy the harvest heart, you must sever the connection to Molag Bal. Find the Lord of Schemes binding totems and destroy them. They are spaced evenly around the Harvest Heart. As each totem breaks, my children will be separated from Molag Ball, and the energy protecting the Harvest Heart will falter. Harvest Heart is destroyed! The Harvest Heart has been destroyed. My children are no longer slaves to Molag Ball. Most certainly. Thanks to your efforts, my children are free. They won't give you any more trouble. And, as I promised, my children will aid you when you need it most. Thanks to you, the vampires are no longer controlled by Molag Ball. I hope we don't live to regret this outcome.
Just the person I was looking for. King Dinar is rallying our forces near the Reaver Citadel. Yes, King Dinar and our forces are preparing to attack the Reaver Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you, I noticed a strange shipyard to the east and a red guard settlement to the west. It's Molag Bol's last line of defense before we reach his inner sanctum, and it's certainly his most powerful. The Dramora station there have turned it into a heavily fortified city. Not quite, but soon. He's waiting for you and a few of the others to meet up with him. They're gathering on the land bridge just to the north. I'm going to head in that direction as soon as we're done here. It was the strangest sight. More shipwrecks than a shipyard, really. It was as if they just fell out of the sky. And there was an awful lot of them. Other than a massive graveyard of ships of various designs spread across the valley to the east of here? No, not really. No, I doubt it's an actual settlement. That's just what the architecture reminded me of. I wasn't able to get too close, but I swear I heard music coming from that direction. You know, it sounded very festive to me. Isn't that strange, in a place like this? What could any of these souls shriven have to be happy about? Finish your preparations. We head out momentarily. This is a bad place. A very bad place. It chills my scales. I'm sticking with the captain. If anyone can get us out of here, she can. Lunk likes the pretty sky. And the rocks. Lunk likes rocks. Sithis blind me. Be there other living mortals in this wretched waste? You're the first swab I've seen who still has meat on their bones. A whirlpool. It pulled in our ship and dropped us here. We fell right out of the sky. We went looking for the shipwrecks of the lost fleet. Never expected to find them in another world entirely. These and a few others. I sent the rest with my first mate Jalan up that canyon to investigate the nearest wreck. I'm about to lead these lovers to check out a second wreck. Anything we find will be more than we have now. We're off to search the second wreck. I'd be obliged if you could follow Jalan's wake and see what's keeping him. Bring him along to the other wreck, so's I can dress him down for being a lazy lackwit. If he ain't dead, that is. Ask away, mate, but be quick about it. We need to move out soon. Many a year I've sailed the seas around Tamriel, but I've never seen its like. It was vast, larger than all Alton Coromont, and it spun up all sudden-like. No wonder sailors call the waters around Thras the Cursed Sea. We were searching for the shipwrecks of the All Flags fleet. Do you know the legend? Scores of ships lost at sea, each one loaded with loot. I found the log of Admiral Olo's navigator, that told me how to find the Thras Archipelago, or where it used to be before it mostly sank. Olo had himself a good navigator, all right. Her directions led me right into the maw of that whirlpool. Treasure, of course. It's a legend in Alton Coromont that some of our swabs sailed in the fleet that sacked Thras. The ones who survived came home loaded with loot. If my ancestors could do it, 
so can I. Aye, that'd be a fine end to our adventure. We find the Great Lost Fleet, and then we walk away from it. We lost too many crewmates finding this place. We owe it to them to do at least a little plundering before we pack it in. Many a year I've sailed the sea. scared me out of my pelt. At least there's flesh on your face. Where did you come from? Oh, she did, did she? And where were you when my crew was being killed by walking skeletons? No matter. It's just you and me now. You, me, and this door. And the door is stuck. Oh, aye, but it'll make a lot of noise. Likely to attract more of those bony swabs. Tell you what. I'll work on the door if you'll keep the bone boys off me. Deal? Starting to hope you weren't coming in. Look at all this treasure. Wait. What's happening? I feel strange. My skin. My fur. What? What? Ah! Fools can't resist cursed treasure. Now you are mine to control. Cursed, Daedra, take it. Cursed. A curse on all curses. My crew. They got excited and rushed to grab the treasure. The gold. It turned them into skeletons. Then some kind of specter appeared and ordered my own crew to attack me. 
I had to kill them. Curse the luck. Now we find the spook that ensorcelled my crew and destroy it. Wasting good treasure by putting a curse on it. Now that's foul play by Sithis. Aye, that I did. And I swear on the blood of me crew that Spook will pay for this wicked trick. You have come to a very bad place. Have you come to kill us, Lizard Bones? No. I have come to save you. Listen to me, child. Here. Why have you come searching for this damned fleet of the lost? Treasure. You won't find that here. But revenge. Aye, revenge might just be possible. Find the Admiral and destroy him. He's using the ruins of the fleet to build his coral tower. He wants to reach the portal in the sky. We're his slaves, working endlessly to make his mad desires come true. There are many who wish we could rebel, but the Admiral holds the crown of bones. Morlog Ball himself gave him that terrible relic. With it, the Admiral controls the cursed skeletons of the fleet. But you aren't cursed yet. I hid the final chapter of my journal in the hold of my ship. The Golden Era. It's docked at the Skeleton Village. My journal holds the key to reaching the Admiral's Sanctuary. You want to help them to Sona, eh? Fool, you can't defy the Crown of Bones. Kill them! No, I can't. Not my own blood. <laughs> Most entertaining! That Admiral Spook Sithis sink him seems to control all the skeletons. And he did. He showed me the Admiral's control isn't absolute. Meet me at the wreck of the Golden Era, and we'll find his hidden journal. Thing ate my soul. My soul. They've taken my soul. They took our souls. They fed them to some sort of anguish gem, and now I'm the only one left. Can you destroy the gem before I wind up like the rest of these wretches? The anguish gem is just beyond this door, but it's barred from the other side. You need to go all the way around. Some rather nasty things lurk in these caves. You need to be careful.
destroyed the Anguish Gem, didn't you? I feel different somehow. You did? I knew it! That's wonderful! I can't thank you enough! Now I won't wind up like the rest of these poor wretches. I have my soul back, and I'm getting out of here! <laughs>